First tonight, our top story drivers kidnapped and forced to withdraw money from an ATM. Atlanta police say the man suspected in two kidnappings is probably the same man who later attacked another person in Sandy Springs. One of his victims told our John Sherrick tonight she is still terrified. He's live for us in Northeast Atlanta with her story, John. The woman was understandably afraid for her life. Police say the man attacked two women, the first two women, at two locations near Piedmont Road and Sydney Marcus Boulevard. That was the last weekend of September. Then police say on October 9th, the man struck again, attacked another driver, this time in Sandy Springs, threatening the driver's lives, demanding cash from ATMs. It's, it was horrendous. Robin had just left a hair appointment on Piedmont at Sydney Marcus Friday, September 25th. And as soon as she opened her car door, a man jumped in the passenger side. She tried to get out. I went like this. He leaned over and grabbed me, yanked me back in the car and said, driver, I'll blow your effing head up. Atlanta police later released this security cam video from outside the salon that they say shows the attacker. The man forced Robin to drive to an ATM and withdraw cash. Two days later, police say the same man attacked a woman at a gas station around the corner and forced her to drive to withdraw ATM cash. And now police believe it was the same man who attacked a third driver at a condo neighborhood on Roswell Road in Sandy Springs inside the perimeter, again forcing the driver to take him to an ATM for cash. Each time running away after getting the cash, Robin says all she could think about was staying alive. She engaged him in conversation. And I told him, you know, I've just been through breast cancer and I'm so sorry, are you okay now? I mean, he was a nice guy. Robin says he told her his name is Robert, 24 years old, the father of a six-year-old son. He said that he'd been laid off from his insulation installing job and he had a six-year-old he couldn't feed. Atlanta Police Lieutenant Damian Crowder is hoping someone recognizes the man so police can get him off the street before he can strike again. As far as the threats that were made, he did in fact threaten their life. Robin says she relives the terror repeatedly. I, I did feel sorry for him. The detective, when I was telling them the story, said, Robin, if I need to feed my children, I work overtime. There are jobs to be had. He said, don't you dare feel sorry for him for what he put you through. She gave the man a word of advice as he left her car. Be the man you, you want your son to be. And he got out. Crime Stoppers Atlanta is offering a reward in this case of up to $2,000. People can leave anonymous tips to help police identify him and bring him in. Aisha. All right, John, thank you so much. We are glad Robin is safe tonight. So unfortunately, these stories are not all that uncommon. It's very scary just listening to what she went through. Now we want to help you come up with a plan if you ever encounter something like this. Ron, I'm going to bring you back in now. As a former police officer, tell us what should people actually do to protect themselves? The holidays are coming up. That really increases this time of year. Aisha, there's four things you want to consider before you even think about parking your car. Number one, make sure it's in a well-lit area. Number two, park where there's a lot of folks around just in case you need to call for help. Number three, look underneath your vehicle, inside your car, just in case there's some knucklehead who broke inside your vehicle. And number four, this is so crucial, keep your keys in your hand. Don't be searching around in your pockets or your, your purse looking for your keys. Have them in your hand so you can get in the car, start it up, and go.